My name is Jonathan. I work for Wikimedia in Germany, Wikimedia Deutschland. Or for my colleagues who are watching, uh, das ist Wikimedia Deutschland. Um, we are pr uh, predominantly organizing the Wikipedia Deutschland, the German-speaking Wikipedia, but we also operate um, Wikidata, Wikibase, and multiple different versions or ex products for Wikibase and Wikidata. That's just in the software development side. On the outside software development, we also do political, educational, scientific engagement, um, organizing volunteer groups and volunteer operations. But pre pre predominantly, the big deal is that we are not the Wikimedia Foundation. So the Wikimedia Foundation is a global operations, and we work very, very heavily with them, our wonderful collaborators. And we are uh, focused in Berlin. And again, our primary operations are the, for software, are the um, uh, Wikidata and Wikibase, as well as a wish list um, operation, TechWish, which goes through the, uh, the German-speaking Wikipedia. And also, we operate fundraising technology, so we create the banners that you see and also work with the banking inside of Germany. Uh, so we're an independent NGO. Uh, we're the first non-American Wikimedia chapter uh, built in 2004. Uh, I think three months later, Wikimedia France was created. <clears throat> Particularly, and this is my focus on uh, how to build an open source uh, product and community, we really care about supporting volunteer projects. We really care about making sure that everything we do has a purpose directed towards our mission and our values. Our values are basically to summarize these six items, to make sure that the most number of people from different uh, and widespread backgrounds, the spectrum of humanity, are sustainably engaging with open and free knowledge have access in lowering the bar to entry, lowering the bar to access for knowledge around the world. Uh, in particular, we just actually created our strategic direction to say, we're, and we're working on where we're gonna be in 2030. But the point is that we are truly driven by the ideals of our values and our mission, which is to make sure that the greatest number of people and uh, um, diversity of people around the world are able to contribute their cultural, linguistic, heritage, active real-time real data. And so that's why it matters uh, for the open source world to be, the, uh, in my opinion, and I think in our opinion, the uh, more support you give to your community, the more support they give back to you. And since we are a donations, um, uh, predominantly donations driven funding, that's a direct relationship. <clears throat> the primary data set that I'm going to talk about today within the Gen, Gen AI uh, regime is for Wikidata but we also talk about Wikibase and Wikibase Cloud. These are other ways that you can organize and access data to use for your models or to contribute data if you have data you wanna store somewhere. Wikidata is a free and open linked open, data, linked open data knowledge graph. So it's a knowledge graph that you can edit freely. Um, I go to wikidata.org or you can use the API. We're building a new RESTful API. And this way um, we are focused on Real, real time multilingual uh, information. So when people are, things change and happen around the world, cultures evolve and you know, um, uh, political uh, parties gain, gain power or somebody invents something awesome around the world, we want it to know about it so we can share that information with everybody. Um, predominantly we serve as a um, common source of open data for the Wikimedia projects. Uh, we're actually currently hiring several different positions to make that more concrete. It's called the Wikidata for Wikimedia Projects team. Hiring an engineer manager, in case you want. Hiring some uh, developers as well. Um, and we pretty much are a one of the cornerstones of the linked open web. Uh, in particular, we're used by DuckDuckGo, Google, Bing, lots of different assistants, as well as a, a flourishing amount of web and mobile apps. Um, Here's a good uh, our, uh, collage mosaic of who we work with or who uses our information, and also who gives back to us. So much like supporting our community of people, developers, users, we also have a good relationship with large and small organizations so that we can uh, better develop for the world of information. Uh, one of the things I found working at Wikimedia is that uh, people perceive, and I've been told this as a white male American, it's kind of uh, peculiar, but for me to, to say, but people perceive that if, you're, if you're, your cultural information is not published on the internet, then it perceived as you do, that culture does not exist. And this has been a quote from people I've known from around the world, 
but uh, to represent them, we also want to give their information to the world so that the world knows that all these cultures exist and what, what the breadth of the spectrum of humanity is. If instead of wanting to use Wikidata, which is uh, the largest open source uh, knowledge graph, uh, especially freely editable knowledge graph, about 100 million data points or entries, uh, which co connects to, I think it's like 20 billion different statements about objects, things, places, times, people, cultures, language. Um, if in addition to that, you want to host your own knowledge graph, we also offer Wikibase. And so if you want to keep your knowledge in-house, the one you would be using, later on when I talk about how to integrate Wikidata with generative AI, I build a little toy uh, um, retrieval augmented generation algorithm. Um, that can be done in-house as well, so it's private information if you wish to. So this is the Wikibase Suites product op op offering. Uh, similarly, we have Wikibase Cloud, so if you don't want to store it on your own hardware, uh, but you want to have your own unique Wikibase, we do now recently went into open beta, offering the Wikibase Cloud op op operation. This is the collection of the top, I think, 25, yeah, 25 Wikibase Clouds by number of pages. And so each of these organizations, and I believe it's upwards of 800 now, active Wikibases, are building their own knowledge graphs. And those knowledge graphs can be or are integrated with, with Wikidata, but they're also unique and they're self-contained. So if you want to build your own knowledge graph, again, for your own private information, although th in this Wikibase cloud sense, I'm not sure if privacy is the default, but nonetheless, uh, for your own specific genre of, in of information, like your language, your culture, your genealogy, your infrastructure, your organization, your research studies, then you can post that de deliberately onto your own Wikibase itself. Um, Wikibase Suites is a larger package that get, allows you to do much more uh, flexible and user-oriented uh, operations. But with the Wikibase Cloud, it's uh, uh, um, three buttons to get your own knowledge graph. Okay, so these things are built on top of a, uh, well, the easiest way to access them, I should say, is through a Sparkle protocol. And uh, like, like GNU, uh, Sparkle is a recursive uh, acronym, so Sparkle Protocol and RDF Query Language. RDF, in my mind, c connects to SQL, but this is for knowledge graphs. So it's a resource description framework. Uh, when in, uh, many years ago, we asked people, have you ever written in Sparkle? And more people said, what is Sparkle, than yes, I owned it. And uh, about the same amount of people said, okay, I looked at an example, and that's me. I'm in the I adapted an example category. But the point is that uh, the Wikidata query service, so to access the information off of the Wikidata right now, one of the most active ways to do that for web-based applications is through the Sparkle at uh, the Wikidata query service. If you've never seen Sparkle, which I had not before I joined Wikidata or Wikipedia, Wikimedia, here, um, this is, you can kind of look at it and squint and realize it looks a lot like SQL, but with some new characters and some particularly unique things for Wikidata like P31 means instance of and Q5 is human. So P106 means occupation and Q33999 is, is actor. The point is, once you've become familiar with these materials, or at least how to develop them and search for them, edit them, uh, apply it to your use case, you can get the top 100 humans with the occupation actor. Uh, and by the way, the list would be sorted in a way that you describe. Um, one thing to show for category, this is particularly the language for English, and we do, ha we do uh, function in about 300 languages. Obviously, uh, Wikipedia, I believe, is like 60% English, uh, but nonetheless, uh, Wikidata, I think, is still English-dominated, but roughly more distributed than that. So, well, as I mentioned before, about building a, uh, a toy rag algorithm for machine learning. So if you wanted to just use Wikidata today, inside of your machine learning operation, you could do something like this question answering. I've seen many of these today already. I've also seen, th this is definitely in the category of naive. Thank you for the previous uh, talks I went to on how to make more advanced RAG algorithms. But the point being that at the top, you use something from Hugging Face, a um, named entity recognition algorithm, NER, and a few uh, zero-shot algorithms for classification to determine what is the intent of this question as well as what are the objects in the question that we can relate to Wikidata. Then at the bottom, this going mapped to Wikidata, this is a very specific thing towards Wikidata. The example is actually in the, in the slides for later, but not on the screen. Um, 
Uh, and so it would connect creating a dictionary manipulation so that you can take the things from the questions and turn it into things that Wikidata knows about, like people, times, places, locations, instances. The, the slides are available online if you want them. The next part, and this is the live real-time uh, updated part, so it's the most valuable, but also the most complex. When you use Sparkle, imagine when you didn't know SQL and you had to then like run your own database and how long it took you to figure that out. It's like that for Sparkle. So for each application, people have become very handy at creating and usually very handy at uh, posting in, on, on open source forums their Sparkle um, um, queries. And so, but nonetheless, you create a, a wrapper for the Sparkle query and it, that gives you, again, the, the valuable up-to-date information. As a hopeful, enlightening example, although mildly dark, when the Queen of England passed away, we almost dropped our servers because the world was going through every single Wikipedia and Wikidata entry and changing Queen Elizabeth is the ruler of England to Queen Elizabeth was the ruler of England. And so we have very live, up-to-date information because our people care. So community management is one of our major functions because our people caring is what gives us the information that we can offer to you all to build your applications from. Mobile and web applications are incredibly well-established and dynamic and, and, and functional. Machine learning operations do exist, um, but we're trying right now, and I'll show you in the examples later, what we're hoping to work on in the next year. So again, but the Sparkle Query Wrapper is the core of asking Wikidata Give me the information I need. And of course, the large language model output at the bottom, it can be BERT or it can be GPT or LLAMA or anything you want. Just a way to turn the information from the collected info data into an answer to the question. So similarly, this is the exact same algorithm, but more visual if you wish for. The user, the app, or the service just says, hey, pipeline, I have a question. And the pipeline runs things from hugging face um, through the dictionary manipulation, the Sparkle query, and the large language model. Those are all built inside of the answer question algorithm. Outputs the information, and you want to do, of course, formatting. And I have, this is the naive version, and there are lots, at every single stage of the game, you want to make sure that you're collecting information. But one of the best things about Wikidata is that we have references and constraints and other information that helps you establish trustability. You can, you can tell people, I got this information from this citation via Wikidata. This, and you can back it up with other documentation. You can even grab the citation off the internet and then collate that instead of the, instead of the answer Wikidata gives you, you take the reference and then you access the reference itself. And it's, um, it's very likely to be updated um, as recently as it can be for different time scales. You know, research happens on the order of years, uh, political parties in the order of months, et cetera. We did try to build, or we did, really well build inside of um, Wikidata. We have a, every three months we have a two-day hackathon, we call it Ginger Beer and Cake, and our team members, Robert Tim and Sylvan Hunze, Hunze, sorry, he's watching. Um, <laughs> they, uh, they built a, uh, a prototype for exactly what we're talking about, taking in statements from Wikidata and turning it into embedded vectors, converting those into a way of probably top case similarity, I'm sure, that's the usual standard point and turning it into a response for questions. I believe it was, who's the mayor of Prague? So um, first thing that we would do, so Wikidata has these vectors. It's a, it's a knowledge graph. That means it has a data point, say Prague. It has a relationship, capital city of, and the, which is an edge to the graph. And then Czech Republic, which is another node, another, another item. And so Prague is the capital city of Czech Republic. That's the human language part, but it comes in three, it comes in a, a, a one by three vector. So to convert that, you have to make these lists of text, so textification, which I always start getting rage against the machine stuck in my head, in case you're a fan. Um, textify. Um, so nonetheless, you have to convert it into a language. That's one version of this. I have seen several research papers where you take the actual data itself in a one by three vector and just embed that instead. Um, so this was the version that they, they chose to use. Uh, they then created this system where they had the pre-prompt um, embedding into multiple different models they were testing out. Pretty sure it's the Hugging Face API, I'm guessing. Um, and, and use this to answer questions like, who is the current mayor of Berlin? Now, I, I will say that on average, when that changes, if, the, if the, a new mayor is elected, the information on Wikidata will be changed within an hours or a day. 
So this is really live information and helpful. So if you have some geospatial uh, um, algorithm that determines the political um, operations per city, per co uh, country, state, we will have very active and live data on that information in the regions where we have high community activity. And that's why we really, really, really care about expanding our community to everywhere in the world. I am not kidding. Um, we have very active collaborations with like Indonesia, Nigeria, Ghana, Australia. I'm sorry for anybody else I didn't mention, but we really try to get out there and get everybody we can on, on to contribute and to even fund some of those, those programs. So um, here's what we're hoping to kind of get into. Uh, this is a project from 2019, had nothing to do with myself, but it's called Wikidata 5 million. Um, it's a research project I found when I was researching this. Um, what can we do? How can we take this to the next step? So very similarly to what our team members um, built up internally, to make that large scale, this project back in 2019, um, I'm going to say fine-tuned or retrained. I'm pretty sure they didn't go start from the ground up. I did read the research paper, but I couldn't find that out. Uh, uh, Bert and Roberta, large, um, not large language models, but it's 2019. Uh, where they took the textification of Wikidata um, and plugged that into um, the, uh, the language model, as well as the associated Wikipedia text entry. So this is one method where we can pass that through. Um, and they ended up with a loss function for both the uh, knowledge embedding, KE, and the mass language model, um, the MLM. And so when they worked these out together, they had a really good concrete um, uh, uh, values for the success of the, sorry, <laughs> for the functionality of the model. Uh, the point is that they then went through about six different ways of looking into it. And so we are now experimenting with what's that gonna cost? How do we have the GPU access? Do we, how fast, will it, how long will it take us to get the information out of Wikidata and put it into the model, et cetera. They did do, they did five million, but we're looking at about 100 million entries. For the first starting phase, it could be 10 to 30 million entities. And an entity is Johannes Kepler, but an entity has, say, 10 statements. So we're looking at over, um, we're looking at bi billions to tens of billions of small strings of text. And of course, associated Wikipedia entries with those as well. This is one of the future projects we're looking at. Another one, this is my suggestion to the Gen AI community, if you just love Wiki Wikidata, you can embed our structure into your training. So if you embed the string, Prague, capital city, Czech Republic, you can also em embed the very fun string, Q1085, Q5119, Q213, because that's the underlying structure, the triple, the triple store, triple store, yeah, triple store for, the, um, for this statement. The statement is the string on top, the vectors are the Q, this, that, and the others. The point is, by building this into the model, when the model then generates information, it can directly, if it, if it pops out with a Q number, instead of printing the Q number, you print the Wikidata entry, which is now live. So it makes the retrieval part and the trustability part, again, connected to references, trivial. But you have to build the model, or at least fine tune it, uh, with that structure in, in place. And so this is another version of our future possible operations. Uh, much, um, not much simpler than that, but, what we really want to do is to take our information and give it to the world. And one of the ways that's happening now with the large language models have changed the way that information is transmitted to the world. And so it, we either continue on our course um, and hope that our method, our model, and our, our predictions about the validity of Wikidata in, in 10 years is, is acceptable and valid. Um, or we try a few other things and make it a different direction and make that hopefully equally or more valid. And so the first option is to create a textification pipeline. Right now, not many people can use Wikidata to easily train a, uh, a model with, include it in the training of the model. You see that Wikipedia is a, uh, a massive chunk of the, it was a lot, the Llama published paper, I forget the number, but it was a good sized chunk of the input data for the large, the, model training, and, and it was used twice because the cleanliness of the data is appreciated by the, the model trainers. Um, and we want Wikidata to be equally on that scale. 
So how do we do that? Well, first we can, pre we can repackage it in a way that machine learning uh, training, mo model training teams appreciate and can functionally use. Um, another way is to create our own wiki data embedding internally hosted, and that actually would help us with, or at least the predictions of, of uh, future possibilities, help us with uh, vandalism detection, which is the old school way of saying disinformation. People either deliberately or, dis or misinformation, deliberately or on accident providing false information. That happens a lot right now. The number one way that we can track it is to have community members very actively following um, articles. So on top of that, we could use this to say how far off of the existing embedding is the new data point and flag that as a probability estimate for how much this is probably or not vandalism. That's very functional as well. As I mentioned, if we were able to um, fine tune models um, ourselves or with your collaborative help, we are looking for collaborations. Please come up and talk if you're interested in this, in this work. Um, then we can embed our structures in the model, fine tune the open source algorithms to include the Wikidata um, IDs and Wikidata structures, the Wikidata properties, which are the rep relationships across the, uh, the graph. Of course, uh, we, do, we joined with the uh, Linux Foundation Generative AI Commons. Uh, I really love the conversations that we have if you're in the room. Thank you for all those, it's lovely. Um, and our way to understand the best path forward uh, for um, having Wikidata become a dominant source of, inform of information for the Gen AI world. Let me change it, she's taking a picture. Good, okay. What we can offer you, community. We are 100% open source. Everything we do is on, on our own work uh, on Git Garrett. We have uh, Fabricator, those are accessible to the public, but also on GitHub as well. Um, we also have a GitLab. Um, each team uses its own flavors and percentages of each of those. Uh, but we're also human, so having personal contact is good if you want to collaborate. Um, so please, um, we have community managers um, who, who are, that's their role. We're also hiring a dev developer advocate currently. And if you want to have an organization to organization collaboration, we have partnership managers that you can work with. Our community, we have about 100,000, um, this is in, in Deutschland, 100,000 registered members. Um, those are contributors um, to the, uh, well to everything, but those are contributors inside of the German speaking Wikipedia community. Uh, but we also have very active open source developers. And so if you would like, please join us at the next Wikimedia Hackathon 2024. The link is available on the PDF. I forgot where it was located, sorry. Um, and again, if you're looking for an institution to institution collaboration, we do have different levels of partnerships. We, we uh, fund organizations completely outside of our regime, but doing open source software development, uh, predominantly in communities uh, that we want their information to be gathered for Wikidata, uh, but also um, institutions inside of our own spheres like the German National Library. Uh, one thing I found fascinating, we, we, used, we worked with the French National Library and the German National Library. I was told, this is a good story, if it's not true, but I love it, um, that that was the first time that the, their, their two indexing of books could be aligned. Because for one book, there was two, um, two properties, so uh, linked in France and linked in Germany for the first time. I'm not sure where that pans out today, but I love that story. Uh, after this, I have questions if you'd like. We have about five or so minutes, if you please. Yes. Uh, the question is, how do we um, match our own um, structure and the information with the way that the tokenizers are already uh, expecting the, the data to be structured? What about the, relationship? the relationship would be between them. I just want it for the recording if they can't hear you. Um, definitely, uh, one, we could retrain our own embeddings. That would be a, a functional version, but that would probably cost the most amount of money. If we, cre if we use the embeddings as they are, there are dozens of them. I really enjoyed the Llama Index talk today. I'll try them all out and see which one has the best functionality for our use cases. Um, but none, there's, all, there's specifically uh, knowledge graph embeddings um, uh, pipelines so we can operate as well. 
So what we, the one that we did here it used an existing vector database. Um, I don't remember which one it was, um, just to try it out and see how it works. And that's, that's the stage we're at. Trying it out, developing a project, also looking for funding. But nonetheless, the only way to make it the structure of the um, wiki data in integrated into the structure of the embedding is to fine tune the embedding. We're mostly trying to be a component of a rag, not, not our own rag itself. Does that help? Let me go a question here. How are you? Uh, d depending on the funding is what we will do. That's the okay. better way to say it, okay. is what we will do. Can we still ask to grab the NVIDIA folks here? Yeah, NVIDIA, NVIDIA. So Sparkle, I believe, if I was trained correctly, is a version of semantic search, but it's not the way that you're talking about with embedding. the embedding semantic search. Yeah, okay. not a vector search. Yeah, but nonetheless, yes, depending on the level of funding is the level of project we can attain from um, textification pipeline through our own existing embedding. Yeah, there's a question over here. Um, yes, yeah, so the naive one I showed sort of fills in that gap, but I wouldn't use it live. Um, uh, nonetheless, um, a Sparkle uh, query generator from a language model is an option. People are working on that both inside the Wikimedia Foundation as well as outside in the community of people who could uh, contribute with us. They're working on exactly this. We had a, 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 the most recent hackathon was in Singapore in August, and there was a session on exactly that. The success of it, I'm not sure where it goes to, but um, it's, uh, I know the people were work working on it as late as October and had a, cl a, c a group collaboration on it. Um, but what I was gonna say is that that may not be necessary uh, if we can get it's um, doing the semantic search uh, directly through the vector database itself. But I, I liked earlier in the Llama Index talking about the hybrid search. And also completely outside of the, the Wikidata itself, like some other tables or references to, to citations. I agree, and as I mentioned about the hybrid search for Llama Index. Again, the, 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 to use the Sparkle wrapper, you have to be an aficionado at Sparkle. To make it the, the deployment ready, you have to understand at least the most prevalent thousand relationships. That's a lot. People do it. People do it all the time with web development. Uh, but we, so Sparkle is an option for a part of the project. Uh, and Sparkle Generator is a direction that we uh, have been fostering in the community and in the foundation has been fostering, but it's not there yet. And so we're also gonna try, assuming that th those projects will get somewhere uh, and we can help them and, c and collaborate with them, we can take a different direction to make it even, um, maybe their projects easier, your projects easier, or our own um, um, hope for validity in the machine learning world better. Yeah. Any more questions? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you meant um, how many people want to use the, the embedding. But yes, I get your point. Um, the community is growing, and, and especially since we have programs to going out to new communities and looking for people to contribute more actively, the community, our, our focus is not so much on precise numbers. In fact, if we went down a little bit, it might be okay, as long as we diversified. 
So we were looking more for stability. And people um, uh, inside of uh, Europe and North America, the global north, they are, uh, I think the numbers are pretty stable, but we're looking to expand more with people outside of the global north because we care about those cultures in the sense that they should be represented equally, uh, but also because the population, I, I find they're the most enthusiastic people we talk to. So that as far as the consumption model, it should, we'd expect it to grow in the next many years. So in the last six years, it has actually grown a little bit better than linearly. Uh, and, and if we can, we may saturate, but you know, everybody can always saturate, but so far it seems to be still progressing. Does that help your question? Yeah, but on other parts of that, the, the, the group has a diverse group of explorers or African American mm -hmm. Uh, we do work with Wiki Arabia to get the, the Middle Eastern countries and Northern Africa um, and the Gulf states. Uh, with China itself, I don't know our relationship, but I know that we worked with Taiwan very recently for the Wikidata, um, Wikidatacon this year in October, which was hosted in Taiwan. And that was deliberately to make uh, um, uh, East and Southeast Asia uh, predominant new contributors to the Wikidata movement. Yeah. Now th I think we're out of time, but other questions? Jumping? No? Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate your time.